I'm going to move on and look at mutually exclusive events now and what they are. So mutually exclusive events, um, they can't happen together. Only uh, any one person can only do one of them. So an example might be um, being in year 12 and being in year 13. You can be in year 12 or in year 13, but you can't be in both. If you imagine the Venn diagram, there's no overlap between those two events. You can't have people um, that fill both of those categories. OK, or, you know, the, the probability that today is a Tuesday or that today is a Wednesday. OK, they can't both happen together. They're mutually exclusive events. OK, so let's have a look at this one as an example. Which events are mutually exclusive? Well, A and B can happen together. They've got an overlap here. B and C can also happen together. There's an overlap here. But A and C can't happen together. There's no overlap in the Venn diagram. So A and C are mutually exclusive. OK. Um, we could also say that the probability of A and C is zero because there's no overlap. Yeah, there's nobody in that overlap between A and C because they're mutually exclusive events. And that means there's a probability of zero there. Well, this one, which events are mutually exclusive? Well, B and C, there's an overlap, so they aren't mutually exclusive. But A and B are mutually exclusive. And also, A and C are also mutually exclusive because, again, there's no overlap. So A and C are also mutually exclusive. Hopefully you can read my terrible handwriting there. So B and C aren't mutually exclusive. There's an overlap between them, but A and B and A and C are. So again, we could say probability of A and B is zero because they're mutually exclusive. OK, there's lots of examples and exam questions that come up with mutually exclusive events, and it could be things like saying, uh, what's the probability that someone plays, I don't know, cricket and athletics? And they'll say in the question that you can't play cricket and athletics at the same time, maybe because they're timetable at the same time. So you can only do one or the other. Um, so it will help you in the exam question as to uh, whether events are mutually exclusive. But anything in a Venn diagram where there's no overlap automatically means that they're mutually exclusive events.